What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use a plugin with multiple outs in uh, FL Studio. So I'm just going to cover it really quick. I'm not going to try to really make a track, um, you know, a, a good track or anything. I just want to show you how to set it up and how to use it. First thing you want to do is uh, <clears throat> load up a plugin that actually has multiple outs. And if you're not sure, uh, of the difference I'll show you. The first thing I'm going to add is just an, an Albino plugin. This is a plugin, it's a software synthesizer, uh, and it, it's just a simple plugin. There's nowhere on this that I could tell it to, uh, to load in multiple instruments. In other words, when you load this thing up, whatever instrument is loaded into it, uh, that's the instrument that you're going to hear. And in this case, the plugin is so big, I really can't show it all to you on the screen. Uh, let me see if I can scroll up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Uh, so you can see here that uh, I can load in, um, let's say, uh, a bass, synth bass, and I can go through the list. Okay, but there's only one sound that can be in this plugin. If I wanted to use this plugin, uh, if I wanted to use another sound in this same plugin, I would just load another plugin of an albino into another channel. And then I could have two different albino instances running with each with its own sound. But some plugins uh, give you the ability to use multiple outs. And what that means is if you have a plugin uh, like Sample Tank 2, which is one of my favorites, uh, which looks like this, you can see that it's got all these goodies right here. And what, what I can do here is I can load up different sounds. So if I wanted uh, an acoustic 12 string, I'll load that up there. The next one I could load up uh, and if I highlight that and hit some keys let's put that on a you can hear there's the acoustic sound uh, then I can go to the next one and let's say I want to load a bass sound in there okay There's my bass, and then I might want to load a string. Okay. Now I'll just do a piano string. Okay, so I've got these three different sounds. Now, how do I use them? Because if I just go to the channel here and I highlight the channel, or even if I just bring up the settings and I start playing the, that channel it only seems to play the first uh, sound which is the acoustic 12 in in that channel well the way um, you do that is very easy <clears throat> but the first thing you want to do is in the plugin you'll see uh, over here in the upper right corner near the close button you'll see a port and you need to set that port. Uh, in this case, I have it set to port 6, but it can be any port that you currently have open. Uh, sometimes um, your, your ports 1 and 2 might be used by your sound cards built in MIDI, in which case you're going to want to go to like port 3, port 4. Um, I usually start at port 5, and if I need more, uh, I go up from there. Uh, but there's, um, you know, there's a practical limit as to how high you can go as well. So, uh, you know, be aware of that. Okay, so here's port 6. Okay, that's important. Let's remember that. And I'm just going to close, uh, close that particular uh, window to get it out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, channels, add 1, and then I'm going to add a MIDI out. Okay, now I have a MIDI out. Now the MIDI out is important because this is what's going to control uh, the uh, a particular instrument that's in my sample tank. So I'm, I'm going to set this to port 6 
that's telling it that's my sample tank port and I'm gonna play some notes and you can hear that it's playing the um, the guitar right that, that was in the first slot uh, so let me add another channel add one MIDI out there's my second MIDI out number two I'm gonna set that to port six and the channel here it automatically went to number two uh, you know the default is number one but automatically went to channel two now let's listen now you can hear there's my bass okay so I'm gonna do that again add one MIDI out <coughs> Okay, there's MIDI out number three. Remember to set the port to the port of your sample tank, which is six. And you'll notice this automatically went to the next channel, which was channel three. And there's my string piano. Okay, so how does all that relate? Uh, really, there's two parts. There's the port, which we talked about, and then there's the channel. You remember um, channel three string piano, channel 2, bass, channel 1, 12 string guitar. If we bring up sample tank, here's the key part right here, this column. Channel, you can see it says channel 1, channel 2, and channel 3. Okay, and then it goes all the way down to channel 16. So I can have up to 16 uh, sounds loaded into this one instance of sample tank and control them all through these MIDI outs. Okay? In Sample Tank, you can actually change the, these channels by clicking on it and then moving up or down. You can see that as changing the channel. So I might want to actually layer, uh, for example, an acoustic with a bass. And what will happen is if I go to my MIDI out channel that's set to play channel 1, now there is no longer a channel 1 in that plugin so that there's no sound. But if I go to MIDI out 2, which is set for channel 2, that plays the bass patch and the acoustic patch simultaneously. So it's very useful as well to do uh, like layering. You might want to put a bunch of strings together to make a, a string section, set them all to the same channel, and then you can control them all with the same MIDI out. Uh, you do lose a couple of things, however. Uh, for example, if I was to take this MIDI out uh, for, let's say, the string uh, piano, <clears throat> there's no way for me to route this partic this single instrument to a mixer channel. It's just impossible to do. I can route sample tank to a mixer channel up here, but then that'll send all of my instruments that are loaded in sample tank to that same mixer channel, and that's not really what I what I'm gonna want necessarily right so you have to be aware of that now what I would do is if for example I wanted a specific effect to just this patch to channel 3 in other words to, to the string piano if let's say I wanted to add a delay effect to it but not to my other MIDI outs what I would do is I would have to use sample tank to control it I would click on the instrument here and then there's a little mini effects rack built into Sample Tank where I could pull this down and select Delay and then have all my delay controls here to control it. Um, so that's what you lose. But you do gain a lot in the sense that now you only need to have one uh, plug-in loaded and you can have all these nice instruments in there. It saves on memory and it saves on CPU. So if you don't have you know the exact... Uh, best computer in the world like I don't um, you can still do a lot if you know um, you know how to how to use these type of these type of tricks so there you go um, there's how you use um, multiple outs in FL Studio and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial